What's been going on YouTube? This is Oix Bats here. Today I'm going to bring you a new UU match against Panda Fist. But before I get to the net, to the actual battle and narration, I'm, I just want to say that I've been getting a lot of subs lately. Almost 200, 400 subs in the last 4 days. Something stupid like that. And I just want to apologize because I know most of them are, su are bot subs. But although I've been getting a lot of butts, but, 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 bot subs. Um, not all of them are because my videos, my last two uploads have been getting, um, did get like 300 plus views, which none of them, almost none of my um, other videos got 300 views. So either way, I'm going to get deleting them, but not anytime soon because I have been a lot busy. That's why I haven't been uploading. So I go for the night days because this is not my Jabberwocky. This is actually Chester disguised as a Beyblade. So, um... He's gonna willow me because he, I don't know, maybe he thought I was the techno, techno top, techno top, or whatever it's called. I think he predicted me to be that, but yeah, whatever. I am a mixed Zoroark, but the only physical move I have on a Zoroark is actually U turn, which was, which, even with the burn, it's gonna be, it, it will be enough to kill the Mew. So, he's gonna go into Slay King, and he's gonna go for the Retaliate, and Queen Latifah will not take it. Because, yeah, I think, yeah, Slow King's attack is something out of this world, plus the stab, and I'm thinking it's Scarfed, so, yeah, it's something you don't want to mess around. Then again, he's, uh, I switched in Technotop, maybe he's going to predict, um, me being a Technotop, but I guess he didn't see that I was burned and my Technotop, my Technotop was not burned, so, I go for the, uh, Night Days, and I was like, oh, shit, this thing can, can um, five, uh, burn stall me the whole mat the whole way but I actually stayed in because I don't know maybe I I, I, did, I just wanted my Chester to die but he's so pro that I get a crit awesome because Crobat is something like stupid I hate Crobats as much as I hate Glades and as much as I hate this thing freaking Jolteons like what the hell this dude this dude's task was to irritate the hell out of me and he goes for the uh, burn, activate the flame orb, which activates quick feet. Now he's gonna start. He, now he's gonna start charge beam, and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm screwed." Like I've been swept by charge beam, flame orb, jolteons, like a whole, I don't know, like a hundred times. So he's gonna protect on my um, fake out because that's pretty obvious. Like what the hell? Um, he's gonna protect on the fake up, um, get some burn damage. Now I can go for the T-Ball. I figure I can take one since him on top special defense is pretty pretty good. And uh, he, I get paralyzed. Like, yeah, you know, that's my luck. And I get the Parahax on the first turn. So stupid. But I go for the Mac Punch, try to get some damage. And look at that. Holy shit, it's gonna kill. But then again, Jolteon's defenses are really low, like 60. So that's not something uh, that really surprised me. Or that really should surprise you. So I go for the close combat as he's gonna set up a sub. I did not predict it to be a sub punching sub punching set because why else we carry sub on an Azumar unless he's gonna be a belly drummer. Like that is something really scary. Something that's scarier than a huge power belly um sub punching Azumar is a sub belly drummer Azumar. Like that really is something that's so destructive. A belly drummer Azumarill with huge power raises its attack like okay six hundred. It's a, it's almost like more than one thousand attack. And with Aqua Jet, you get the priority. So it's something stupid. I'm gonna try that out, and you're gonna see power. You're gonna see the true power of Azumarill. So um, I go into Hydro Dick. On his Azumarill because I had the hidden power um, electric, but I go for the um, Calm Mind on his switch into Roserade, predicting I don't know. Wait, I don't know what he the fuck he predicted. I go for the Calm Mind, then I go for the Ice Beam. That's gonna uh, decimate his Roserade, and on top of all, I get a Freeze Burn, which is pretty good and awesome. And him switching out has me thinking he is not the technician. He is actually the uh, Natural Cure um, set or variant. Now he's gonna switch in um, Slay King. But since his retaliate is going to be weakened, he's going to go for the Giga Impact and miss. Like, yeah, holy shit. That's haxing for me. So I go for the Surf, 
plus one or plus two. I don't really remember because I wasn't paying attention when I was narrating. So I go for the plus, I don't know, surf, and that is going to completely destroy his slaking. And he activates his Tront, which means I'm going to get a free hit on him. I should have gone for the Calm Mind because I'm probably faster, but I don't know. I don't know. He's faster. He's faster. So good play. I went for the Ice Beam instead of um, praying greedy. So yeah, he sends in Rose Raid. Uh, you see, he he activates a natural cure because he's not frozen anymore. Good for the Giga Green. Doesn't do that much. And uh, another Ice Beam is going to be enough to kill it off. And uh, I think his last Pokemon is Zumarill, which is going to be decimated by a hidden part Electric. I guess. Let me see because I don't know. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, Azumarill is going to be decimated by a hidden power electric. So that is going to be great game, Panafist. I'm going to put your link down in the description. And really, so I, I'm really, really sorry, guys, for the bot subs. But I'm going to really get to um, deleting them. Like, don't stop supporting me because I, I, I really didn't, did not do that. Like, for real. But that's going to be all for today, guys.